For Oakley, wearable technology is happening now. It's the Oakley Airwave, goggles that communicate with users in real time. It's the next generation, it's the next move. As the boarder or skier rides down the mountain, these Airwave goggles project a series of data points, altitude, trail maps, and speed. Maybe that sounds dangerous, the stuff lawsuits are made of. But in practice, the little pencil eraser sized monitor is unobtrusive, and the services are interesting. The buddy finder to find friends on the mountain, and tunes. All managed with a glove friendly controller worn on the wrist, allowing the rider to quickly switch between fields. We base everything off technology and design, and being first to market with products that are. Uh, disruptive and revolutionary. Oakley's already sold tens of thousands of these $650 goggles. This isn't just about selling geeked out, technologically equipped ski goggles. No, this is about defining the Oakley brand as innovative, technological, cutting edge. And that helps them sell everything from cheap sunglasses to, yes, $650 ski goggles. And the point of this has helped Oakley come to dominate the U.S. sunglasses industry, estimated to be $3.6 billion. We're pushing the envelope uh, on a small niche market, but what we're learning in doing that translates to product that is maybe downstream a bit as well. Key to the Oakley marketing effort is getting the cool kids to wear cool sunglasses. So they have a massive marketing effort here in Park City, Utah at the celebrity-filled Sundance Film Festival. To get celebs wearing Oakley, the company launched a Learn to Ride program where top Olympians and pro snowboarders give lessons to actors like Adrian Grenier, yeah, Keelan Lutz, Aaron Paul, and models Chanel Amon and Ireland Baldwin. All, of course, will festoon in Oakley swag. At the end of the day, it's about providing a technology-enhanced user experience on the mountain, one that they hope will enhance the entire Oakley product line. Anytime we're looking at telling our technology story, that technology story trickles down. Corey Johnson, Bloomberg, Park City, Utah.